Yeah, hello guys, welcome everybody. And on this tutorial, I will I will be showing you how you can install a mail app. For instance, if you, if you, if you actually put this um, um, my mail app, this is a video tutorial that will guide you on how to do that. So ensure you have a uh, a hosting, a very strong hosting package, a dedicated server you can you use. I'm installing the the mailer. So um, this is a uh, the folder that comes with the mailer. This is a particular folder that comes with the mailer. So what what I'm going to do right now is to actually I already have a a a a, 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 a directory on this particular folder. So I'm going to do is to create. A subdirectory where I can install this folder. So what I need to do now is um, I can decide to to create a subdirectory here. Maybe you can say app or slash any directory I want to use. So what I'm going to do now is to go to subdomain name. So I can simply create a folder. I need to get a name. So I can simply create a folder. I go to my file manager. So my file manager, uh, go to the uh, public.html. Ensure that you extract this, this the file on public.html. Now under the public.html, I have um, a lot of uh, folder here. So I'm going to do is to create another folder. So I can say, um, I can say test. So, test.html and create. So, have you seen it? We have a um, test folder here already. Now, if you come to this site, and uh, this is the main directory of this site, it goes uh, front. So, this is the, the main directory of this site. Now, if you have come here and click slash test, let me show you what's going to happen. So, have you seen it? Is the parent directory. So what I'm going to do now is to. Okay. What we're going to do now? We have created our subdirectory, which is empty. So when you look at it, you see the test folder. What we need to do now is to upload our uh, file on this particular directory. So you click on upload and then uh, click on select file. Uh, click on this select file. Locate where you have um, your script. This, this is my script here. So um, make sure you upload the zip file. So I click on upload. It will take uh, some minutes for the script to finish. So I'm going to pause the video and come back again. Okay, after you have uh, uploaded the script, um, click on the uh, go back. So this is the script we have. Remember, you uploaded the script on that test. HTML slash test. So what we're going to do is to um, click here and uh, extract. No, under this uh, test folder, with this one, we have a uh, restore main. All you need to do is to delete uh, this man. Now, open this restore, you see a different restore. So here now is uh, the MySQL. So we not only really need the MySQL, just delete the MySQL. All we need the MySQL, we will get. Um, so still delete this one. Still the same uh, folder. Just still delete it. All you are going to make is of uh, is uh, the main restore. Which is this one? Open, open the restore and uh, click on select all. 
Now, before you move this, before you move this folder, ensure you come here setting and they click on show you the file disable characters. So I save. So after you have done that, click on select all and uh, move. We are moving this man on this particular text folder. The reason why we are moving the particular text folder, let me show you for example now. If we click on ego for the text, what you're going to see now, you're going to see a folder. So you're going to see this folder. So what you need to do, you're going to move this, this the, our file on this particular folder, which is the restore me on this particular folder to this text folder. So what you're going to do now is to come here and click on move. Uh, okay, delete this. Now I'm moving on the test folder and click on move. Now when you come here and look, you see what you have here. Morning asset denied username. So what you're gonna do now is to create a database account for our directory. So when you when you come to test. This um okay uh, come to so this is the test so we have here so what we're gonna do now is to create a data uh, a data um database account on this particular one so what we're gonna do is to go back to our domain name our C panel sorry and uh, database Click on database. So we're going to do now. We're going to create a database account. So I can see my database name should be tests. My database name should be tests. I can see test main. Understand? I click on create. So what you're going to do now? Copy this. Uh, Copy, open Notepad and paste. Okay, run it. It on on the notepad. All right, I can see data. Tab is main. Okay, restore main. So we have created a database name. Go back. Um, can see okay, so test. All right, password. Okay, let's see. So, I'm going to copy this man. So, so after you have done that, if you are good to go, you have created the database and click on create account. So, 
Yeah, yeah, this is just so. So I can say. Um, Now, after you have done that, the last thing we need to do is to create, is to add the database user as a, as a, to, to add privileges on our database. So I need to do, come down here. I'll come to uh, the database and then look at the database. Database. Let's learn. Click on. Click on add user. Let's see the database. Now what this is going to change the old database information to a new one. So all we need to do is to click on connection. And the database user, database password, and database name. So what you're gonna do to change all this name to the to the uh, new database we are using. So copy this map to database name. Copy that map to the database we are using. So what you're gonna do is